So I purchased the adjuster grip from Kensu and I just received them today and this is what it looks like. So overall the quality feels really good. However, I am kind of disappointed with this though. You know, I, I figured they would have fixed it by now considering there's been so much complaint about this. In almost every single video or review that I've seen, there's this, there's been this part right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is using a uh, double-sided tape to kind of uh, just put it back together. I could glue it, but I just wanted to uh, do something quick. And this part right here are for the bigger plates. Since I have the normal size plates and the skinny size plates, I could just attach them together on this grip right here and lift much heavier. These are the max, which goes up to 300, so 150 pounds each, which means that I'm able to do dumbbells, uh, 150 pound dumbbells. Now, I can go much heavier than 150 pounds as far as my physical strength, but these are maxed out at 150. So what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to be trying 160s on them and see if they can handle them. So for the for the grip, they're, uh, they're pretty beefy for the grip. You have so 1.4 inch as far as the grip goes. Now this is a regular dumbbell. A regular dumbbell is one point three six, so it's a little bit wider than the regular dumbbell. And as far as these ones that I've been using, it's definitely much, much skinnier. These things are skinny. A lot of times, when I'm going up to one fifty pounds, they start to dig in into my uh, my hands and they start to hurt. So a lot of times I end up using uh, a grip, I end up using one of these grips right here because those ones dig in my hands. Now the main reason why I purchased this is because on my normal dumbbells, these parts right here, they dig in my thighs and they also get in the way when I'm trying to do uh, tricep extensions or things like that or even bicep curls like this. These things kind of like just, they get in the way, you know, because a lot of times you want to do bicep curls. If you're starting from a neutral grip, you turn your wrist and go up. But these handles, they always get in the way. So you end up just sticking to this or just sticking to the hammer curls. So I'm hoping that this will solve the issue as this is this actually screws in so it's inverted it's not poking out and it's gonna be much easier on the thighs when I'm lifting up one of the things I like about this uh, grip is that so I could have a regular plate like this which is pretty cool or I could use some of my smaller uh, plates like this so for example Let's say I wanted to have, let's say I had this right here, right? As you can see, these things are too big for this, right? However, there are these things right here, which inserts and it goes into the, it goes in, in the weights. And then you can put the plates on it to prevent it from moving around. Now, let's say I wanted to add uh, a 2.5 pounds to something like this, right? All I have to do is put this first onto this, screw it on, then put this, and then just screw it on like that. And now you have a heavier plate. Now I have a five pounds and a 2.5, but using while using something like this. So for example, let me put two plates up there, which I would just use the 10, but I have my 10s over there. So in this case, 
I have two tens, I mean two fives and a 2.5. And I can just do the same thing on that side as well. And this thing is not gonna move around. It's not going anywhere, which is great. So I've been using this for about a week now. And what I found is when I go heavier, this is not long enough. So I ordered the extension tubes, which are these ones right here. This extension uh, rod allows me to actually put more weight on this adjuster grip max and still be able to fit it securely. That way I'm not worried about this thing breaking off because it's so short. Uh, this one right here is much longer and on this part right here it feels a little bit thicker and I'm gonna measure it so it's about 0.4 inch thickness on that one and here it's 0.41 so this is a little slimmer than this it feels thicker However, I prefer this one right here because you have a better grip to turn it. Whereas this one, it feels a little more sharp. I don't know why they did this, this uh, design right here, but uh, it should still work the same. Another thing is I noticed that this one right here is not as wide as this one. Maybe it's in my head. Let me, t let me check it out. So the width is 2.9 and for this one it's, hold on, okay, 2.8. So it is definitely smaller, not too much, but smaller for sure. And I wish it was the same width as this because the whole point is to make sure that this doesn't dig into my thigh as much. Because if you're doing like 100 pounds, it doesn't matter as much. But I plan on going to at least 150s on this. Probably 165s on dumbbells, dumbbell presses. So I need to make sure that it doesn't dig in my thighs as much. Now, the other thing is, these are the clips that I bought to go into the Olympic size plates. So it wasn't after I bought this, I realized... I could have just made my own <clears throat> but either way it's still good I bought this so I bought one of these right here not the whole thing but just the tube the plastic tube itself I bought it on Amazon for nine dollars literally nine dollars and I cut them into pieces smaller pieces right here that way I don't have to buy a bunch of these for like thirty five dollars but anyways another reason why I cut it is because this one fits perfectly into any anything uh, 10 pounds and up you know it screws in perfectly however when it comes to the five pounds and up it doesn't there is a little bit of a edge on this so when you actually screw the weights in into that there's actually a little bit of a wiggle so a five pound plate is gonna move around now there are times where you're gonna need to use five pound plates because a five pounds and a five pounds that's 10 plus two pounds and this that's 12 pounds so sometimes when I'm working out my shoulders, doing shoulders um, lateral raises, I would like to start at low weight and this is moving around because this is a little bit too tall. So me having to make my own here, it actually fits perfectly and it doesn't wiggle at all. So now I'm going to lift using the extension tubes and show you guys how it's all about. So this is what it looks like when you're trying to do a heavy weight with the regular, uh, you know, thin rod that comes with the adjustable max. This is it right here. This is what it looks like on a heavy weight. As you can see, there's not a whole lot left to drive into this. So when you're trying to lift, it's a whole lot of weight for just something so small. Whereas with the long ones, which is the extensions ones, you have a pretty good amount of room left to screw or to even add more weights. So 
for example I can add a 5 to it and still have so I added a 5 and still had more room than this that doesn't even have a 5 and now I can even screw it into it now for comparison how much room are we talking about well I I'm gonna use this right here to show you guys an inch of room left on this by comparison you have almost three inch so 2.8 inch to be exact so you see you have this much room left on this com by comparison to on uh, to this one right here so the extension tubes I mean the extension rods are definitely worth it if you plan on going heavy if I did all this together right this is gonna be around 130 something pounds something like that now I can add more weight to actually reach the higher capacity of 150 but like I said I plan on going to 165 and see if this thing can handle them this thing is so heavy. So I had to do a voiceover due to music copyright uh, but I'm sorry for this angle uh, I recorded it on my phone in 9 by 16 which now I just cropped to 16 by 9 but over here I'm doing 158.6 so roughly 160s it is heavy but it is pretty doable although I haven't gone over 150 since uh, summer of last year but still it was uh, it was still doable for me so now I gotta go up if there's a better way to weigh these things I definitely don't know how Okay, that's not a PR, but 168. So basically, I can say roughly 170. So now I'm on to the big boy weight. These are 170s. I haven't gone up to this much weight since uh, early last year. So yeah, it's been about a year since I went up uh, to this point. This is uh, roughly 170s. Um, if you need help, if you need tips on how to lift heavy dumbbells, definitely check out one of my previous videos, which is tips uh, or secrets to lifting heavy dumbbells. But um, boy, I had to struggle for that last rep. Uh, that last one was a, was a hard one, boy. Uh, but anyways, uh, the thing is, for me, the job is not done until I put the weights back down. I don't like to slam my weight or throw them on the ground. I like to put them down in a controlled manner especially this adjuster grip you don't want to slam them because if you if you do slam them they might actually end up breaking but thank you guys for watching if you want some of these uh there's a link in the description check out my last video for sure